bikepedaling.com. Let's get started. Good morning. All right, getting ready to turn onto the trail. This is Julian Wash between Reader Road and Kolb Road. This part of the trail is 2.8 miles according to that sign. It's a beautiful sunny day and it's about 74 degrees. It's going to get a little over 100 degrees today, so I'm going to get moving along here. Here comes the cyclist. I need to watch out for the dirt on the trail. It just rained uh, on and off for about three days and washed a lot of dirt into the trail. Oh, there's some debris. The rains made it really humid. You can cut the air with a knife. I'd still rather be biking than working though. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. It gets really hot really quick. So if you want to bike, you need to start early in the morning. I like to get a 20 mile ride or so each day. It mellows me out. It sets the tone for the whole day. It makes me feel great. This is my 25th video so far on YouTube. It's going pretty well so far. I'm getting some views and people are watching stuff and it's pretty cool. I'd like to get some comments though, so please comment below and let me know what you think or whatever's on your mind. I really appreciate it. The sign up here says flood zone. I'll bet you it did flood after the rains. The water fills up all these low areas and then it runs off just as fast as it came. Looks pretty muddy there on the side. This part of the trail is pretty easy. It's all downhill mostly. Not steep or anything, just gradual. There's those big solar panels up there. They actually turn. They'll lay flat or stand up straight to catch more sun. I'm not sure though, I think some of them might be broke because they kind of stay in the same spot. I'm not sure how long they've been there.
There's a rest stop here on the right, up here. Just a place to get some shade, though. It's got some seating. I think there's a cistern in there to catch water, too. If you go left up here, it dead ends. So we want to veer to the right. Lots of dirt up here on the trail. Coming up. Now I've got these new Schwalbe uh, Supreme tires, Marathon Supremes. And they're basically slicks. They work great on pavement, but they don't like sand or off-road hardly at all. I got these tires because they're a little lighter and they supposedly handle uh, thorns and stuff a little better. The sidewalls are a little weak, but the uh, the actual edge that you ride on is pretty rugged. Hopefully I won't get any more flats. Got a flat the other day and got left on the side of the road for a little bit. So far they're working out great. I really like them. Up here on the right is some of that water that was left over from the rain. It's odd to see that because we don't see water just laying around in Arizona, not in the desert. Getting ready to go under one of those monuments to the trail. There's a plaque on the inside right there. Across the bridge, watch out for the sand. Try to keep it nice and straight when going through that sand. If you get sideways at all, you'll go down. That wouldn't be a good thing at all. This is a straightaway through here. Here comes some more cyclists. Veering left here. Check out this bicycle up here on the right. They got their dog leading the way. Well, we're almost at the end of the trail here. 
I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. And please consider commenting. Thanks for watching. BikePedaling.com Thanks for watching.